episode of Get Real with Andy. This one is all about community and connecting with other people. There's this guy. He was a psychiatrist named David Spiegel. And he set out to prove that getting together in groups made no difference in anybody's medical prognosis or outcome. And so he gathered a group of women, all of whom were diagnosed with recurrent breast cancer, and he divided them into two groups. One group met regularly in a healing circle, support group type format, and the other, they gathered in a room where they each sat in rocking chair, reading magazines. And he followed their physical progress. And then at the end of, I believe it was a year, he compared. And although he was setting out to prove that the support group would make no difference, the exact opposite was the outcome. I mean, you knew that's where I was going, right? Then in fact, the women who participated in the healing circle, in the support meeting, who connected with each other, did better in every single measurement category. They had higher incidence of spontaneous remissions. They had shorter hospital stays, better outcomes from any kind of treatment that they were doing. So it just punctuates the reality that being connected with a strong social network really helps people be healthy, become healthy, and stay healthy. In fact, you've heard of the Blue Zone studies. The Blue Zones are these areas in the world where people live to be older. Like they have more people who live into their hundreds than anywhere else in the world. And one of the common factors that they had was a strong social network. You know, where I work at Hippocrates Wellness, I believe a huge feature of the healing properties of the program there is the community aspect of it. It is a transient community. The guests come and go. Most stay no more than three weeks at a time. But during that time period, there is such a high level of sharing and connectivity brought to a super heights in the healing circle where we really open up with each other and do deep inner work. I've seen it over and over again where people's physical well-being um, is catapulted forward after they share or participate in, in deep connectivity with other people. So it really is important to be connected. And I know for myself, I am so grateful for the people in my life, my friends, my family, just so awesome. We're contemporaries. We're alive at the same time. And we somehow have been thrown together, found each other. You know, it's just so lovely. And I'm Love it when that gets better and better. And that gets better and better when when I open up, when I share, when I listen. Listening is like the main quality of improving social connectivity. I'm convinced of that. And, you know, as a therapist, I get to practice a lot of listening skills. But those skills really belong in everyday life. And I tell you, when people feel heard and listened to, we feel closer. We feel connected. Just helps me relax in my own skin. All right, listen. I know what I've said here is completely obvious. Most truth is really the obvious that we overlook. Okay, love you. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>